back. Chair, recognize Mr. Session from Texas for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. And uh, Mr. Comer, Chairman Comer, I want to thank you uh, for your not only meeting with uh, at least Republicans before this hearing, but expressing your confidence that you believe that we could have a thoughtful meeting today with the representatives that, that would be here and that the uh, words of, of confidence that you spoke with the mayor about um, her job and how this committee uh, could thoughtfully have a conversation today. It's my hope we will ha continue to have that conversation. I recognize you've been here a number of hours, each of you, and thank you. Uh, some of the uh, points that we've heard is that people on our side, where Republicans don't care about Washington, D.C., that we don't take time to come and walk the streets and talk to people. Well, perhaps there could be some evidence of that, but also my parents for over 20 years lived here, and uh, my mother and my father both engaged Washington, D.C., elected officials, and I believe tried to provide feedback, and, and they did to my parents, and I was a part of those conversations. And I would like to say that there is great confidence that we want to have in working with you. And I think that's evidenced by you being here today. Uh, Mayor, uh, I serve as the uh, subcommittee uh, chairman for government operations. And we have been in discussions and intend to have conversations with the federal government about bringing people back to work. I don't need to go through the facts of the case today, but the bottom line is the federal government is lagging, in our opinion, of getting people back to work. Back to work is, I think, uh, uh, not just healthy, but we have so many problems with passports and, and government, uh, the IRS, a lot of other agencies, um, in performance of their duties that are necessary to the American people, so we will be doing that. I want to just perhaps provide some context. We have just come off being in the minority for four years. Uh, we had an opportunity when we were in the minority to help work and craft. Our colleagues sometimes led us and sometimes, uh, sometimes shared, sometimes did not share so well. But the agenda was definitely uh, on the side of the speaker, Nancy Pelosi, and, and those who would be chairman of the committees. Their agenda is virtually our agenda today. That is that we're trying to make sure that the city of Washington, D.C. has a relationship with us whereby we provide feedback and we try and look at the things that are done together. We do recognize running a city is hard. We do recognize, however, or believe that just like the bipartisan piece of legislation that we did where we disagreed with the D.C. City Council could not have come at a worse time based upon the assault on one of our members and, and that that created uh, an air of, of lawlessness in this city. Please know this, we would like to work with you However, we'd like for you to have an equal knowledge that marijuana in its simplest form is an addictive problem. And your members, DC members, and your people who are in your police force and others should recognize that there are things being mixed in marijuana, there are hallucinogens, there are problems that we have, and you're gonna keep having violent crime if you keep having the positions that you take on allowing marijuana to be openly smoked because it is easily infiltrated, so to speak, it can be changed, but it all by itself is an addictive, dangerous product. And there is more than enough national information out here. It creates a psychosis, it creates a lot of real problems. Who are the losers in this? Women and children, women and children get the brunt of this problem. And I would like to just face all four of you and say, you need to tell the truth 
You need to tell people the truth because they know it. And you will keep being a drug haven, a crime haven, and a gun haven if you continue what you, how you approach drugs in the city of Washington, D.C. I'm very open to allowing you, it not, then you don't have to do it this forum, but that engagement and expect it to come from the Government Operations Subcommittee, the engagement on public safety and the safety of women and children. Mr. Chairman, I want to thank you for the time. I know I'm over. My special thanks to all four of you for taking time to respectfully, thoughtfully take time to, to articulate your ideas with a group of people who care about you. I yield back my time.